hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation into bracket x minus 2 then raised to power 3 equals to minus 8 also like and subscribe to my channel thank you now from here let's take this minus 8 to this side and we have x minus 2 raised to power 3 plus 8 will be equals to 0 and uh, we can also express it here to a number raised to the power 3 and that's 2 raised to the power 3 so this becomes x minus 2 raised to the power 3 then plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 and uh, here we have sum of 2 cube when we use the identity that is a cube plus b cube this will give us a plus b into bracket then into bracket a square minus a b plus b square when we apply this here a here is starting as x minus 2 and b is starting as 2 so this becomes x minus 2 plus 2 that's in form of a plus b then into bracket a square that's x minus 2 square then minus a b that's 2 into bracket x minus 2 then plus b square that's 2 square which is equals to 0 and by the time we solve from here we can simplify we have minus 2 plus 2 that's 0 so this becomes x then expansion of this bracket we have x square minus 2 times x times minus 2 that's minus 4x then plus 2 squared that's 4 then minus 2 open this bracket here we have minus 2x then plus 4 because minus times minus is plus then plus 2 squared that's 4 equals to 0 then when we simplify further this gives us x into bracket x squared then we have minus 4x minus 2x, that's minus 6x. Then we have 4 plus 4 plus 4, that gives us plus 12. Then equals to 0. Don't forget, give it thumbs up and also subscribe. Thank you. Now, from here, we have two solutions here. We have x equals to 0. And uh, also, we have x squared minus 6x plus 12 equals to zero then from here we can find this by using the quadratic formula when we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and uh, here in this equation we have a as 1 a is equals to 1 and uh, b is equals to minus 6 and uh, c is equals to 12 Substituting here we have x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 12 then all over 2 times 1 and when we simplify this further from here this become x equals to 6 minus times minus become plus that's 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square that's 36 then minus 48 over 2 so 36 minus 48 is minus 12 so that means x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 12 all over 2 we can break minus 12 then as 4 times 3 times minus 1 so x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3 then times minus 1 minus 1 rather times minus 1 and square root of minus 1 is i so times minus 1 over 2 and uh, here we can separate it and we say root 4 is 2 so this becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 root minus 1 is r a complex number then divide by 2 and when these two divide this from here we have 
2 going 6 as 3, 2 cancel to here. So this can be written as 3 plus or minus root 3i. And uh, from here, that means we have two complex you know, solution here. We have a real solution which is x equals to 0. So let's call this x1 equals to 0 and x2 equals to 3 plus root 3 high and the x3 equals to 3 minus root 3 high. So here we have three solutions in this problem and uh, when we put x equals to 0 in the equation given to see whether that satisfies the problem from here when we put 0 here 0 minus 2 is still minus 2 and this will become minus 2 raised to power 3 is this equal to minus 8 and then when we look at that minus 2 raised to power 3 that will still give us you know minus 8 that's minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 that's minus 8 equals to minus 8 then it's true that the value of x is equal to 0 and uh, it's also true for these two complex roots. We say thank you for watching. Also, share this video to as many as possible. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next class and bye for now.